What's going on YouTube? We're in full E3 season. We have news and announcements left and right. But right now we're going to take a look at old games getting new updates because that is still happening and that is happening with a lot of games. And we're looking at Destiny 2. Now we are at the Season of Opulence, the third expansion as part of their uh, annual pass they did with Forsaken. Now, if you had a history of my channel, you can see I have a very love-hate relationship with Destiny. But look, I love playing the game. I'm not going to use this to go on about its problems. It's fun to play. Despite the issues, and now that they have their freedom from Activision, I have hopes that in the future, they can build the destiny that all of us want. And I'm sure they do too, because they have got to know the problems and issues that the fan base has. But for now, let's just take a look at this trailer. I'm still excited to go in and see what this stuff has to offer. And uh, let's check out the season of Opulence. Opulence? Check this out. A new mystery awaits you, Guardian. Welcome to the season of opulence. I like that shotgun. Nice purple and gold. Those are my colors. What will you find in the Emperor's lost vaults? Treasure hunts will lead you to powerful weapons and armor. These will quickly boost your power level and prepare you for the menagerie. This season's all new six player match made activity. Oh, okay. That could be cool. Choose the gear you earn. Okay. Grow strong, Guardian. Prove your worth. That was a really brief trailer. Didn't get a look at too much, but that's usually how they do it, especially now when they uh, roll things out over the course of the season and they don't want stuff to be too obvious. I like that look right there, but, you know, it's a warlock, so, eh, Titans forever. Um, but, yeah, six-player match-made activity. I wonder if this is them kind of testing the waters for one day in the future, having some kind of in-game tool for raid matchmaking um of course it would be a nightmare but still whenever you hear people talk about destiny you can't help but hear people say matchmaking about the raid so i feel like just give players the option if they want to do it let them try it may suck it may be a pain in the ass but just just open the floodgates because it's not going to stop people from being in discord and lfging anyways for people who actually want to seriously get through the content but I feel like until they put that in, you can't really even discuss the actual real issues Destiny has, like the gear system, the light system, the way player scaling with enemies is very unsatisfying. Those are the actual real problems with Destiny, but whenever you say Destiny's name out loud, all you get is like 2,000 voices going, oh, matchmaking for the raid. And I, I, I don't want them to only look at that as the thing that needs to be changed for Destiny. It needs to be more than that. But I still love playing Destiny. I feel like there's no shooter that has that feel. It's so much fun to play on PC, and I'm still very excited about post-Destiny 2 where Bungie takes this free of Activision. Let's see if you know Activision was really the one behind the scenes causing things to be made the way they were, or if that's just you know rumors and fanboy wishes Either way, I want it to be good. I want it to be better. I love playing Destiny, so hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. There'll be a lot more coming. We have Neo 2 Alpha gameplay on the channel. A lot of reactions. I'm going to be live streaming the Xbox conference on Sunday when it happens. Oh my god. This is my favorite time of the year, everybody. Happy E3 season, and I'll see all of you next time.